Getty Polish President Andrzej Duda signed a $4.75 deal with the U.S. to face the Russian threat. The nation started to revamp its armed forces when Moscow annexed the Crimean Peninsula in Ukraine in 2014, given that the majority of Poland's weaponry dates back to the Cold War. The deal, which is worth $4.75 billion, £3.38 billion, has been hailed as an extraordinary, historic moment by Polish President Andrzej Duda, he said. This moment ushers Poland into a new world of ultra-modern technology and weaponry. This is a new chapter in the history of the Polish army, a huge step forward for the entire Polish army. It is a lot of money but we know, also from our historical experience, that security has no price. This is a new chapter in the history of the Polish army, a huge step forward for the entire Polish army. Polish President Andrzej Duda The agreement includes four radars, four combat stations, 16 launchers and 208 Pac-3 MSE missiles, with the first deliveries expected in 2022. The Polish Defense Ministry said the Patriot system would be used to combat short-range ballistic missiles and self-propelled rockets, as well as manned and unmanned air strikes, neutralizing targets within seconds. Patriot is an advanced surface-to-air missile system designed to defend against aircraft cruise and ballistic missiles used by the U.S. and NATO allies. This long-awaited deal follows Poland's pledge to raise its NATO defense spending from the agreed 2% to 2.5% by 2030. Polish Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki said the Patriot Agreement showed solidarity and cooperation with the United States and other NATO countries. Getty Andrzej Duda, L. Shakes hands with U.S. Ambassador to Poland Paul Jones before the signing ceremony The deal is unlikely to be welcomed by Russia, Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Vladimir Tito told state-run Sputnik News website in November that Patriot deployments were part of a U.S. plot to surround Russia with missile defense systems under the pretext of mythical threats to security. Poland was one of the 20 countries which expressed solidarity with the UK and expelled Russian diplomats following the poisoning of ex-spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia. The deal also signals a distension of the relations between Warsaw and Washington, which have been tense since the introduction in January of the law that imposes jail terms to whoever accuses Poland of Nazi war crimes. The US argued that this move would subvert freedom of speech, and warned of the repercussions this legislation, if enacted could have on Poland's strategic interests and relationships, including with the U.S. and Israel.